Welcome back to the Yellow Card Vanguard channel. I'm your host, Toku from It's Toku TV on Twitch. Every Monday, I'm streaming Vanguard content, and the past few Mondays, we've been brewing up clan collection lists and testing them. So swing on by to be part of the process. On today's segment, Halloween comes early, and we're visited by the ghosts of wine, Noir and Pinot Blanc. This old-school Legion pair makes its way into the V format in clan collection and has the benefit of being in a clan filled with great generic cards, and as such gets to reap the benefits of being part of the Grand Blue crew. The new grade 3 we get is Pinot Noir. During your turn for every 3 triggers in your drop zone, our front row units get 5k. Coupled with how hard Grand Blue mills out the deck, this power gets out of hand fairly quickly and allows for a lot of cards to become viable attackers. His second skill, when Pinot Blanc is called to rear, once per turn you can soul blast 1 and mill 2, and then activate all the effects of triggers mill. In conjunction with Pinot Blanc's skill, this effectively makes Pinot Noir a quad drive, in the sense that we get 4 trigger checks. Speaking of, our new grade 2 is Pinot Blanc. In the drop zone, when Pinot Noir attacks, we can counter blast 1 and retire our rear guard to draw 1 and call her to the front row rear circle. On the rear circle and on the guardian circle, Pinot Blanc cannot be attacked and gains 5k shield for every 3 triggered units in your drop zone. Already existing in a protect clan, Pinot Blanc's second skill provides extra tankiness for the deck. Her first effect allows for some multi-attack as well, and most times we're sacrificing Thin Miss Banshee for her skill to get the double draw. Our new grade 1 is Foolish Burial. That's, that's what she is, she's literally Foolish Burial. Her second effect lets you mill 2 after the battle she attacks her boost, and if there was a trigger milled, you can retire her to draw 1. We've got the grade 3 Heal Guardian in C Cruising Banshee. Like most times, this is up to choice and meta, and it might be worth to consider this one as an emergency attacker if we need one, since it is a 10k body. Let's quickly do a deep dive into the core. We've got 4 copies of Pinot Noir as our grade 3 body to be on, and 3 of the Legion mate, Pinot Blanc, as our method of multi-attack and advantage. The common attack pattern will be front rear guard, front rear guard, and then we'll attack with Pinot Noir. We'll use two Pinot Blancs in our drop zone to reset our front row, and thanks to Pinot Noir's first skill, our first front row rearguards should always be viable attackers. I've chosen to run three copies of Beatrice as a rearguard attacker. That not brings us a new unit such as Coulombard, which would then bring us another unit to play with. Our ideal rides are as such, four copies of Sea Strolling Banshee and four copies of Pirate Swordsman Coulombard, and his first mate, four copies of Greed Shade. These 12 cards in a package provides disgusting amounts of consistency in getting the correct ride that we want. Riding Banshee will mill out the Pinot Noir, and then on the turn after, we can ride into Coulombard, which will mill and call the Greed Shade, who will then fetch us the Pinot Noir that we dumped. We've also got four copies of the best Grand Blue unit to ever exist. 4 copies of Skeleton C and Navigator. It is imperative to get this guy online ASAP, as he will fill our drop zone very quickly, improving not only our toolbox, but getting us to hit certain thresholds for our effects. In essence, more 5k stacks for a front row off of Pinot Noir, but also Negra Bones effect for any great spirit call. Speaking of which, we also run 4 copies of Witch Doctor of Powder Bone Negra Bone as the ultimate toolbox unit in this deck to convert any card from hand into any card from draw. To round off our list, we are running 2 copies of Thin Mist Banshee as our ideal spirit call to become 19k, but also the best unit to be sacked off for Pinot Blanc's skill, getting us a draw 2. And the last slot in our deck goes to a singleton copy of Jesse the Ghosty. Every turn that we resolve Jesse is an extra counterblast to play with, and in a deck like Grand Blue, our drop zone is our second hand, and we won't need more than one copy of Jesse since we can just mill it out. We can tap 2 for a navigator to get us to our mill 5 thresholds, and then we can sack the 2 units we tapped for Jesse. Value Village. Our current trigger lineup is very uninspiring. It is 8 crits and 4 draw sentinels. There is the idea, however, that we can add in 3 crit sentinels over the 3 draws and keep 1 draw sentinels, since we can just keep using Greed Shade to get it back to our hand every turn that we need it. With a total of 11 crits in deck as well, this can make the Pinot Noir's 4 drive checks very scary. If we're looking for some other idea for our deck, we can always consider Skull Dragon. Navigator and Skull Dragon have been a household staple of Grand Blue since their inceptions and continues to do so. I obviously do not run it at the moment since I wanted to explore more Pinot Blanc plays 
because Dragon retired itself, we wouldn't be able to really sack it for Penal Block's effect. But with a unit that gets that big, it's probably worth for a singleton copy somewhere. Pinot Noir and Pinot Blanc plays do use a lot of Counter Blast, so we can look into the other sets of Ghosties for Counter Charge too. We can also consider a number of Dancing Cutlasses from 3 to 4, as when we get 6 triggers into drop, not hard honestly, these become 16k solo attackers, but also really good units to retire off of Pinot Blanc. Grand Blue will always be a presence in the meta, as due to the existence of Coulombard, Greed Shade, and now Sea Strolling Banshee, this engine can Guarantee whichever boss unit you want. Night Rose is now more consistent, Betty is also more consistent, and Pinot Noir and Pinot Blanc introduce themselves as very consistent as well. As more and more cards release for Grand Blue and Stoikea in extension, Grand Blue will only get stronger and stronger. Regardless, that's all I've got to say about Grand Blue today, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Toko out.